Back at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum, IUPUI leads at halftime by seven. Today is the annual Hall of Fame day for IUPUI basketball. Three athletes go into the IUPUI Athletics Hall of Fame, and one of them I call a good friend. Odell Bradley joins us now courtside, well deserving in his honors given today. Spent two years or three years in total at IUPUI, two years as an active member of the roster. 0 3 Jaguars win 21 games, go to the NCAA tournament. 0-3-0-4, come up just shy of making the NCAA tournament, but Odell Bradley, one of the top 10 scorers in the country that year, averaging over 23 points a game, and he joins us now. It's good to see you, buddy. Congratulations, and, and what does this honor mean to you? I mean everything, man. First of all, you know, I'm blessed to be here. It's great seeing you. You know, I'm tired of seeing to see everybody in social media, <laughs> so it's good to see a lot of the uh, old faces, but it, but it means a lot to me, you know, the, so you can sit back after your career, after I've been retired for three years, and then you can, write, you can finally really appreciate your accolades and things that you've done. So to see all the faces and the uh, ceremony today and to be on in the Hall of Fame. And the biggest thing was today was the first time my dad has told me that I was a great player. Wow. I've, been, I've been playing ball since I was five years old. He finally told me today, he said, uh, son, you know what? I mean to tell you, I think you're a great player now. I said, well, Darren, Dad, maybe you're 25 years late. But that was his way of motivating. That's, uh, and obviously it worked because you had an outstanding career here at IUPUI. When you think back to your days as a Jaguar, what are the best memories that come to mind? Um, I mean, my best memory by far is probably the Oral Roberts game at home and us winning the tournament. Those sure. are things stick out. Uh, you know, winning the tournament, that was the goal that we set in the summer in 2003 to be the first team in the program to go to the tournament. So for us to go, that really stands out. And then just the energy of my senior year, a home game in the jungle against Oral Roberts, it was so much energy, so intense. It seemed like it was 5,000 people in the jungle in that gym. So those are probably two of the moments that stand out earlier today, of course. We have talked about, and we talked about it on Thursday because it was Oral Roberts, but in, in Odell's senior season, played Oral Roberts twice in a span of 13 days. It involved five overtimes. IUPUI won both games. That still is the last time that IUPUI has won on the ORU campus, and Odell had over 40 in each of those games. Now, for the NCAA tournament, would have been special for anyone, but how about playing in your hometown? You got to go back and play that tournament in Nashville. What was that experience like for you? It was great. I mean, I remember being at the um, downtown the club and we were watching the Selection Sunday. And when it came up and it said Nashville, first of all, we was in Kentucky, we was like, oh, God. We got a lot of work to do. We want to be in Kentucky. True, true. But when I seen the Nashville, Tennessee, I was like, well, if it's going to be a tough game, at least it's going to be tough in my home city. So it was like as soon as I found that out, and at the time, you know, cell phones weren't as popular as they no. But I still got a whole lot of text messages. Can you give me tickets to the game? Can you give me tickets to the game? So it was such a, like, a surreal feeling to play my first NCAA game and in my hometown. So my high school coach and my AU coach and family didn't have to travel. They all got to see me play. So it was a beautiful thing. I wish we could have won the game. Of course. I mean, we put a, put a good showing on IUP. Of course, we're not in the more victories, but it was still fun to play. And it catapulted us into the next season. Cause I think it really, we came out strong and we played bigger teams the next season. We was really prepared to play. You reference an AAU coach. You're doing that these days. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, I got an AAU program. It's a team heavy out of Nashville. Uh, I got a fourth and fifth grade. Uh, my fourth grade team is more known nationally. I got a couple kids that are ranked that can play. Uh, actually, my son, Odell Bradley the fourth, he's a ranked player. He can play. So it's just me, my way of giving back, trying to stay around basketball. I mean, I still can play a little bit, but I love coaching and teaching. I also officiate high school basketball as well. So I just like to stay around basketball with them. So we'll be coming up here playing in the summertime, actually, in a tournament here, uh, June 3rd through the 5th. So it'll be cool or whatever. I hope that people come out, see me on the sidelines coaching, and still on the sidelines yelling and calling the head. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many great memories from Odell as a player. Trust me, a lot of them behind the scenes as well. One of the good guys to be around in his time at IUPUI. Happy for you, my friend. Good hey, to see you. you. Good seeing you. I'm going to make more visits up here. Please. It won't be too long tonight. I promise you that. You got it. Odell Bradley, a Hall of Famer, joining us here courtside at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Bob Lovell back at a matter of moments. Halftime highlights and stats come your way next. Jaguars lead by seven here on HTSN. <laughs> 